G'day mates, over 100,000 patients use our Sleep HQ web app in over 160 countries worldwide. It's a powerful tool that lets you track, chart and analyze your sleep and CPAP therapy data. Now today I want to introduce you to our brand new Sleep HQ iOS app that will be available for pre-release September 30th, 2023. The day my team, Collingwood, the mighty magpies win the Aussie Rules Grand Final. And what a glorious day it will be. 100,000 people at the G, all screaming, Collingwood. Here's a short promo video. It's essentially our web app, but right here at your fingertips. You don't need to open up browsers, log into your account. You just open up the app, check out your data. But it also opens up a world of possibilities to connect with Bluetooth devices, such as our Sleep HQ02 ring here, that lets you track your blood oxygen, heart rate, and movement data, and also connect to Apple Health. So whatever device you have, if you're monitoring your blood pressure, or perhaps you're monitoring your weight. If your device can write data to Apple Health, then we can chart it on Sleep HQ. Let me show you version one, and then I'll share my vision for the future. Now, for those of you that own a Sleep HQ magic uploader, oh, connects to your home Wi-Fi and sends all your CPAP data to Sleep HQ every 10 minutes. You can wake up in the middle of the night Check out your data right there on your phone. Whenever you feel like it, it will always be there. If you don't have a Sleep HQ Magic Uploader, then you will need to take out your SD card, plug it into your laptop, and then drag those files into the Sleep HQ web app in order to view them inside the iOS app. For version two, we will be introducing direct uploads via on-the-go card readers. So you can pull it out, plug it in, open up the Sleep HQ iOS app and upload your files that way. But this is certainly the most convenient option, Sleep HQ Magic Uploader. So much magic in one little box. I'll put a link in the description down below. All right, let's check it out, shall we? So this is AirSense 11 auto set data right here on the dashboard. We've got our summary data up the top, our AHI donut here, machine settings, Statistics, like I said, it's very much Sleep HQ right at your fingertips. Then we've got the breathing, breath by breath analysis, and the sleep stage data here is coming in from the Apple Watch. But we've also just realized that a winning sleep mat will work. If you've got an aura ring, that'll work as well. Any device that can write sleep stage data to Apple Health will chart right here on Sleep HQ. That's the beauty of the Apple Health integration. It's a health hub. Doesn't matter what wearable you have, what device it is, if it scales a BP cuff, if it writes data to Apple Health, then we can track and chart it right here on Sleep HQ. Now we've got the SpO2, which is the blood oxygen levels, and we can see a few dips here. That's coming in right now from the Sleep HQ O2 ring. The movement data, which is also coming in from the ring, We've got leak rates, snore, pulse rate come in from the ring, and we've also got some advanced charts as well, um, which I won't open right now, from the CPAP machine, tidal volume and so on. Now let's go up here and I'll show you what we can do. So say we wanna have a look here at our blood oxygen level, we can see there's some dips here. Now if I just go like this, I can zoom in right here on the dips. Look at that, how good is that? And I can see that these oxygen dips are happening right here during REM sleep. Yeah, there's the REM sleep bar right above it. And let's zoom in and check out how breathing's looking during REM. I'm just gonna click and drag. There we go. These are hypopnea flags. So during REM sleep, the pressure is not quite enough to control the breathing. If I click these little arrows here, I can then scroll. 
across. We can also view our sleep and therapy trends by clicking the trends tab at the bottom. Can't see too much of a trend here, but let's change the time frame from 30 days to 12 months. And there we go. I can clearly see a downward trend in the AHI. Great stuff. Now let's zoom in here. You can see three yellow dots. These are journal flags. And flags are anything you want them to be. Maybe you change mast, maybe you change pressure, maybe you change CPAP therapy mode, maybe you were sick, maybe you lost some weight, whatever you like, you can create a journal entry. And here's the journal entry, moderate change. Got my first order from APRI yesterday, which included a fresh N30i. You see, he's got a fresh mask, he's put in a note, and now we can track the changes on the trend view. Now let's head over to the connections tab, and this will show what devices or services I'm connected with. You can see I'm currently connected with Apple Health here, and I can see the sync history. All right, you can see here, this is all the data that is synced from Apple Health with the timestamps and the date stamps. And I've also got my trusty old O2 ring here. I've had this one three years under the devices tab. It's connected via Bluetooth and I can control the ring through here, set up alerts. I can also view the sync history and all this information, the Apple Health, the O2 ring syncs automatically. You don't need to manually do anything. Just open up the app and away you go. And here we have the Apple Health sleep stage data, the O2 ring data as well, the O2 statistics, the sleep stage hypnogram, blood oxygen level movement and pulse rate data. So you can switch devices just by coming up here. So that's what you can expect from our Sleep HQ iOS app version 1.0. And just before I go, I wanna share my vision for what you can expect version 2.0, which should be released shortly after. Let's say you've got hypertension and you wanna monitor your blood pressure. You put on your cuff, you open up your app. I shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this, but just for this example. And off we go. Have a guess, I'm gonna guess 130 over 83 just because I'm talking. 123 over 92, there you go. Now if I open up the Apple Health app and click on heart, which is where the BP is stored, you can see right here, blood pressure, 123 over 92, that's the measurement we just took. It's already in Apple Health. So if you authorize us and grant us permission, we can take that information, pull it into Sleep HQ, and track it for you. And I'll show you exactly where we'll track it. In the journal. So click the three dots up the top, click My Journal. This is your daily journal. And this is where all that Apple Health information will go. And you'll also be able to view it on the Trends page. We want the dashboard to remain sleep apnea focused, sleep tracking. But in the journal, you can store blood pressure, weight, whatever you like. There's a spot here for weight already and add notes if you need to and also add your flags. Now at the end of the day, no matter what your medical conditions are, there is one thing that is guaranteed to make them worse. Poor quality sleep. Sleep apnea is a bad bitch. She got many tentacles that go out into all aspects of life and health, but when treated, you will likely see improvements in other aspects of your health because they're all interconnected, yeah? Your hypertension, your diabetes, they're all affected by sleep apnea and poor sleep. And many of you watching will know the 40 or 50% who have hypertension. You will have seen improvements in your blood pressure, most likely. The diabetics will concur. I bet most of you have seen improvements in your blood sugar control. Um, those of you who are overweight and obese, I'm sure you've got more energy and you've probably noticed improvements in your metabolism and so on, depression, erectile dysfunction, the list goes on guys. So the take home message is treat your sleep apnea and everything else will fall into place, hopefully. Until next time, sleep well, make every moment count. Thanks for watching, cheers.